I can't believe it has come to this point where I am reviewing Cat in the Hat. My least favorite movie. I've done jokes reviews in the past about Cat in the Hat. But this time, we're delving in the, the spoilers and everything I really hate about this movie. I'm gonna go spin. I can't believe my uh, it's come to this we are gonna finally review my least favorite movie and you're gonna see me get pretty angry but i'm gonna keep it calm so cat in the hat is based on the dr seuss book cat in the hat dr seuss book is a very good book but the movie on the other hand <laughs> well let's get started with the plot two kids basically they're very messy one's a control freak one is um, and then cat in the hat comes in because apparently their mother has a big business party later and they need the house completely clean now what i read to you let's dive in all right this movie is the worst movie i've ever seen it is atrocious it is terrible everything you can think of that is bad it is literally the Antichrist. It is terrible. Oh my god, what is this? What happened? You know, how could they disrespect Dr. Seuss? He is a very famous writer and a pretty good writer. I've had a lot of memories with that book. Heck, for years I forgot the Cat in the Hat movie even existed. But I knew the book and I would read the book because it's a good book. You know what sucks? The movie. Okay, Universal, what, did, what have you done? Come on, I love you, Universal. Why did you do that? Why did you make Cat in the Hat? Oh my god, it's terrible. This is one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. It is terrible. I don't know what they were thinking, but if you were gonna make an adaptation of Dr. Seuss Cat in the Hat, at least make a good one. Don't use all these adult jokes. Yes, okay, their adult jokes are usually the ones that make me laugh, but with Cat in the Hat, the adult jokes are so overused that it's almost unbelievable. Like, some of them I can't even show because of how unintentionally inappropriate they are. And the adult jokes are stupid. Oh my god. No, some of them are just stupid. Like, I. Kind of hat. Yo, you wanna know what really sucks? Mike Myers' portrayal of Kind of Hat is so unbelievably, laughably bad. The jokes in this movie are just not funny. They are not funny. Nothing in this movie is fun to watch. It will make you cry. It made me cry because it was terrible. This movie has nothing, nothing going for it. No, I don't know what they tried to make, but whatever they did, they failed miserably. The Kind of Hat is a terrible film with unfunny jokes, bad performances, and terrible see. There's some... This movie is terrible. Here, I'll get into what I hate about it. The whole fact of the mother having a business call and being like, oh, you have been chosen for the party tonight is so stupid. None of this company stuff has anything to do with Dr. Seuss. No, nothing of this has to do with Dr. Seuss's book. I, it's just not a good movie, even if it wasn't connected to Dr. Seuss's book. It is a bad movie. I don't like the business stuff. I think it's stupid. The acting is terrible. The jokes aren't funny. Some of the Paris Hilton, I think, is in this movie at one point. And she's just there because they need money. And sucks. It sucks. It sucks. Okay, there are more. The acting. The jokes. Here, there's one joke where it's like, no more big government. That's uh, it's unintentionally racist. But... Like, that joke wasn't funny. Like, the cat in the hat, his puns are terrible. The whole dancing scene is something straight out of a nightmare. Oh my god, should I talk about thing one and thing two? They are terrifying. Oh my. Oh god. 
I don't feel so good. This movie is bad. I don't know what they were trying to do, but what they did, they, they failed. They failed so miserably. In fact, one of my least favorite parts of this movie is when they advertise Universal Studios. Yes, I love Universal Studios, but they advertise it like, cha-ching. Like, he literally goes up to the camera and says, cha-ching. Hershey Hotel. Great place. You guys should visit Hershey Park. It's quite nice. Oh, um. Man, such a terrible movie with unfunny jokes, unfunny cast. Cast is terrible. Come on, Dakota Fanning, you were way better than this. You were in Coraline. Coraline is actually a really good film. But Dakota Fanning was best known for playing Coraline, but before that, she was in Cat and Hat. I don't know why, but it was one of her early roles. Thank God um, Coraline saved it. But Jesus, this movie is so terrible. Because some of the scenes don't even make sense. Ending is so cliched and boring. Alec Baldwin trying to send this one kid to a military school. Why is that even in the movie? Does it add anything to the plot? Does it add anything to the character development? No, it doesn't. It doesn't add anything. It is terrible. Oh my god. I, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Oh my god. I'm going to lose my mind right now. Oh my god, it's bad. Whoa, what is this? Why did I come across seeing this? I remember re-watching it back in 2016, and I screamed with how angry I was at it. <sighs> it was terrible. Bad movie, don't watch it. One of the biggest regrets in my life watching this movie. But at the same time, what movie would I have to trash? Actually, I have a lot. Kind of had it's terrible. It is terrifying, just like the sun of the mat. Bad acting, unfunny jokes, unfunny humor that I don't even get. Some of them I do get. There's a lot of adult jokes, but I don't care about it. For all, I'm going to give this film a zero stars. No, zero stars. All right? You heard me. Zero stars. Zero. Zero. It's terrible. I, I don't get what they were trying to look like accomplish but whatever they did they failed on a miserable level they tried making a film and it sucked i don't know what they were doing but it sucked it's also notable to mention that the movie is directed by bo welsh who did a lot of stuff for tim burton though what happened come on come on dude what the hell happened whoa that's all for the video that's really all i have to say about this stupid movie I mean, I can mention one more thing. You want to know what that is? The stupid swing scene. It's not funny. You need to have your actors actually feel like good actors. Like, have them be invested in this role. Not have them be like, oh, what am I doing? Anything I'm supposed to do? Or what, or what about this? When she's like... I'm going to give a shout out to... I'm gonna give a shout out to Stevie D. Go subscribe to his channel and.